we understand that docker compose is necessary to run multi container app on the local machine but when we want to deploy the same on aws elastic beanstalk we need to define docker run dot aws dot json so docker compose is for local whereas docker run dot aws dot json is for aws docker compose is a yaml file whereas docker run dot aws dot json is a json file simply put we can think of docker run dot aws dot json as the json form of the docker compose file now let us understand the structure so a json file has kind of key value pairs so the first one we need to mention is aws eb docker run version this specifies the version number as the value to for the multi container docker environments next the container definitions it is an array of container definitions environment array is an array of environment variables to pass to the container for example here the postgres user is the environment variable and its value is hello flask similar is the case for other environment variables next essential is true if the task should stop if the container fails non essential containers can finish or crash without affecting the rest of the containers on the instance image is the name of the docker image in an online docker repository from which we are building the docker container we are using docker hub as the docker online repository then memory is the amount of memory on the container instance to reserve to, for the container name is the name of the container we could further see the standard container definition parameters for information about the maximum length and allowed characters and all then port mappings it maps the network ports on the container to ports on the host now comes the volumes volumes create volumes from folders in the amazon ec2 container instance or from the source bundle mount these volumes to paths within your docker containers using mount paths in the container definition volumes are specified in the following format with the name and source path of the host